Solito, a memoir is a powerful and poignant account of the author's experience growing up as an undocumented immigrant in the United States. Javier Zamora's story is both unique and representative of the experiences of many other immigrants who have had to navigate the complexities and challenges of life in a new country without the support of legal status. The memoir is structured as a series of interconnected essays, each focusing on a different aspect of Zamora's life. He begins with his childhood in El Salvador, where he grew up with his mother and siblings in a small town. Despite the poverty and violence that surrounded them, Zamora's family was happy and close-knit. However, their lives were turned upside down when his father left for the United States in search of work, and the family was forced to flee the country due to the escalating violence of the Civil War. If you'd like to listen to this book on Audible for free, you can click the link in the description below. If you'd rather read this book, I've added a link to Amazon. Please feel free to leave a comment suggesting another book you'd like me to summarize. Now back to the summary. Zamora vividly describes the harrowing journey that he and his siblings undertook to reach the United States. They were guided by coyotes, or smugglers, who took advantage of their vulnerability and charged exorbitant fees for their services. The journey involved crossing rivers, walking through deserts, and hiding from border patrol agents, all while enduring extreme hunger, thirst, and exhaustion. Zamora's descriptions of the journey are both heart-wrenching and awe-inspiring, as he captures the fear, desperation, and resilience of those who risk everything to seek a better life. Once in the United States, Zamora faced new challenges as an undocumented immigrant. He struggled to learn English, navigate the complexities of the school system, and make friends in a new and unfamiliar environment. He also had to deal with the constant fear of being discovered by immigration authorities which would mean deportation and separation from his family. Despite these challenges, Zamora persevered and eventually earned a scholarship to attend college. However, his dreams were dashed when he was denied financial aid due to his undocumented status. He was forced to drop out of college and take on low-paying jobs in order to support himself and his family. He also struggled with depression and feelings of isolation, as he found it difficult to connect with others who did not share his experiences. Throughout the memoir, Zamora grapples with questions of identity, belonging, and the meaning of home. He explores his relationship with his Salvadoran heritage, the complexities of his family dynamics, and his evolving understanding of what it means to be an American. He also reflects on the ways in which his experiences have shaped his views on immigration policy and social justice. One of the most powerful aspects of Salido is Zamora's use of language. He writes in a raw and poetic style, with evocative descriptions and vivid imagery that bring his experiences to life. He also incorporates Spanish phrases and Salvadoran slang, which adds an authentic and intimate dimension to the narrative. At times, the language can be challenging for non-Spanish speakers, but it also adds to the richness and depth of the memoir. In conclusion, Salito. A memoir is a compelling and moving account of one immigrant's journey to the United States. It offers a rare and valuable perspective on the experiences of those who have had to navigate the challenges of life in a new country without legal status. Zamora's writing is powerful and evocative, and his story is both unique and representative of the experiences of many others like him. This memoir is an important contribution to the ongoing conversation about immigration and the pursuit of the American dream. Please click the subscribe button and head down to the description below to listen to this book for free on Audible. See you in the next summary.